Hello, hello, hello there and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial session, I'm going to show you how to install the Laravel API in the new version. So yes, if you have been using Laravel for some time now, you realize that with the latest version, the API route is not included in the framework by default. Why? According to the Laravel team, um, developers tend to use more of the internal web routing system compared to the API route. And so therefore it is sort of not necessary to include it by, I mean, with a framework by default. So if you still want to use API route, you would have to configure it or set it up all by yourself. And that is what I'm here to show you how to do in this particular video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So already I've created a Laravel project, but in case you're wondering how I created it, you come to the Laravel's official website, um, laravel.com, you click on get started and it will take you to the installation page. Now when you are here, you scroll down, you're going to see creating a Laravel project. Creating a Laravel project, this one right here. So, it will tell you the few things you are supposed to have installed before you can go ahead and create what? A Laravel project. I have all these ones installed and so therefore, I'm just interested in the command, this one here. So you copy it, then you go and paste this in your terminal to create the new Laravel project. All right, so I have done that already. So let's just get right into what we are supposed to learn today. So I'll open my ID. You see that I've installed or bootstrap a Laravel application called install Laravel API. This one right here. Now, normally we have our routes in the route folder. I mean, our route files in the route folder here. So when you expand it, you realize that as it stands now, in the route folder, we are only having web route. We are only having web route and one file called console.php. But then in the previous versions of Laravel, you would see web route alongside API route, but it's not the same. I mean, it is not the case here. So, if it happens that we want to use API route, how are we going to what achieve that? We have to install it. So, I'm going to spin up my terminal. Bring up my terminal here. And then I'm going to execute one command using the PHP artisan. So, PHP artisan. And then I'll say install. What do I want to install? I want to install the API like so. And then I'll just hit the return key or the enter key on the keyboard. Wait for a couple of minutes for the magic to happen. So you observe carefully what will happen to the route folder. There are some changes going to happen. So observe carefully. is optimizing auto load files
This is taking longer than usual. Why? This is keeping long, but let's just wait for a while for it to finish installing. making headway already. Okay, so it is now asking that one new database migration has been added to our system. Do we want to I mean, run it. No, for now, no. Because perhaps you might want to make some modification before you migrate. I mean, you do the migration. So for now, let's just say no. And you could see that in the route folder, we now have our API route installed. I mean, the, the API route file installed to be part of what? Our application. So let me just clear the terminal here. And this is what we have so this is normally what you used to i mean have in the previous version of laravel but then in the version 11 you don't have this by default so that is how to get it back or part of your system when you need to use it so let's just decide to test this one right now and see what happens so i'm going to create one route called um let's say it should be a get route and then what should be the endpoint okay when the user say okay let's say test test api let's say test api when the user hits on this particular route let's return a function and this function i mean let's return just a simple statement say okay testing or this is coming from the API test route like so then we can terminate this make sure we terminate this part as well now for you to test APIs you know we don't use the normal browser to do that we use HTTP clients so software or tools to test API so I have postman here I'm going to create a get request to be able to test our API so click on new here http and what sort of um request do you i mean request do we want to what make on the api uh, request it is a get request that we want to do right now okay so we make sure that the http verb or method that you are interested in should be at guest then you specify the routes so i already have quite uh, i have a URL here I'm going to make use of that but before then you have to make sure you start your development server so how do you do that you say PHP 
matches on self. So when you do this, it is going to give you this uh, URL that can help you test your application. So we are going to have that exactly in our postman. So we paste this one. Then we say forward slash. We would have to say, okay, test hyphen API. And then we hit send. So send a request. Let's look at what we get as the feedback. It is telling us that not found. If you observe carefully, we are getting back a raw HTML page, which is telling us what? Not found. Okay. But then, when you are dealing with API, you would have to put the API, I mean, folder as part of what? Your route or as part of your, your URL. You have to include that part. So you say API. So after your domain and your post number, have what? Z API, then forward slash, then you say test API, like so. So let's send a request again. Let's send a request again. And as you can see, we are getting um I wish I can increase the size of this, but it is not allowing me. So that is basically that. Let me see if I can increase the font size. Not really. Yeah, so we are getting actually a result. We are getting a result. This is coming from the API test route. And that is pretty how to install the API. I mean, install API in a new Laravel version. Hope you like this one if you find this content useful or very informative don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up that helps to push the video to a larger audience and by that you help grow the channel as well if you are here to subscribe to do that and don't forget to turn on the notification bell let me know your thoughts and your views in the comment section thank you for watching and until next time, happy coding and all the best.